What's going on? Good day, people. Having a good day. And I'm getting ready to clap back to some ignorant ass haters and feminine men. Once again, I'm getting ready to clap back at some ignorant ass haters and feminine men. One of the big problems that seems to keep cropping up is that people have a problem with my vast knowledge base. You sound like you know it all, man. Now, on this channel, I have clearly said if there's something I don't know about, I will quickly say I don't know anything about it. I, I've had people ask me about affiliate marketing, which I don't really know anything about affiliate marketing. I've had people ask me about certain things, and I don't know, and I have honestly and openly said, if I don't know about a topic, I won't talk about the topic. If I don't know about it, I won't talk about it. And one of the things with these feminine men and these emotional people, I know more about what I'm talking about than you do. I know more than you do because I have experience. I've slept with hundreds of women. I've had multiple businesses. I know more than you do. And this is a problem because it's like you said, like I had this clown. Let me go ahead and read it to you. You're making these videos too personal. Give up the information and stop worrying about race. Do what you can for your family. Teach them the skills you feel are important. You come off like you know it all. But you're not really talking about finance. You're talking about the state of the, that people are in. When I look at the room and I see nothing that says success, but you're talking down to black people like you have money like the Rockefellers. Get the fuck off your high host with your loose ass wearing sweatshirt and black eyes. Show me a Rolls Royce. Show me a million dollar check. Wear a suit and look like you know what to talk about because you're full of shit. This comment was dripping with jealousy. It was dripping with jealousy. Dripping. This is a feminine man. Now, one of the things I'm going to talk about is I want you guys to go to Google this. Glendon Cameron and go to Amazon.com and you will see how I made my first million. Selling my ebooks and my books on Amazon.com. This is how I made my first million. This did not involve me wearing a suit. This did not involve me having business meetings because I'm a product of the new economy. The new economy. I don't have to go to business meetings. Why would I show you some shit I'm not doing? I, you know, and I, I'm going to bring this course back, living a life of intent and design. This was purposely intended. This is what I decided to do with my life. When I exited the storage auction business, I was like, what am I going to do? And I wanted, always wanted to be a writer. And I wrote my first book. I made a gang of money and I did not have one business meeting and show me a Rolls Royce. I don't really like Rolls Royces. I, the cars I like are in my garage. I'm not going to buy a Rolls Royce or a Lamborghini to show you clowns that I have money. That's stupid. I don't like these cars. And this is one of the things as a dominant masculine man, I do what I like to do. No one has any influence on what I do. I'm a product of the new economy. 
You don't have to have business meetings. You don't have to wear a suit. And one of the things is when I go to events with people like me, it is rare to see someone wearing a suit. It's rare. Daryl Leaves, who's a multimillionaire, walks around in a T-shirt and shorts and, and tennis shoes. See, this is one of the biggest issues. And I don't have to be white to live like this. Uh, look at this room you're in. You know, for a long, long time, because I knew the jealousy and the hate was out there, I hid my success. If you go back to the early videos seven years ago, I was in my spare bedroom. You couldn't tell. That was intentional because I knew that once I started showing how much money I was making, the jealousy, the little bitch ass men would come. They would flock to the channel and they would start peeing all over the channel like skeet, 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 skeet. That dude is so jealous of me. He wants to be me so bad, it hurt his little heart. This, because see, one of the issues is I pretty much have a really good memory. And since he's been watching this channel and he's like, you're not talking about finance, you're talking about the state of the people. This is the first video that he commented on. And I have over 2,000 videos talking about making money. And this is the first video he commented on. So good morning, people. Stephen, they're not used to male energy calling out the feminine in them. No, they're not, man. No, they're not. All right, Johnny Walden. What's up, Kelvin? I started watching Glennon years ago because the idea of being able to do something else. You're not defined by your job, and this is why I still follow him today. Absolutely. He's just showing the feminine male some feminine male love. <laughs> MD, I'm getting a BMW X7. Malik, this is true. This is one of the reasons, like, you know, I actually, I've done streams walking through the house. It's a big-ass house. It's a nice house. It's furnished. And um, one of the big issues is that, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. I shall be back. All right. All right, I'm back. Honey buddy, those kind of guys have the mattress on the floor energy. Uh, multiple potential, the ability of a person, preface of a person, particularly one strong intellectual or artistic curiosity to excel in two or more different fields. Yeah, this is true. Steph, and here's some examples of rich men that always wearing suits in public. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, rest in peace, Jeff Bezos, Jay-Z, Tony Robbins. What's up, Super One? This guy will be one of the people who buys a course promising he can make 10K in seven days and complain when he gets scammed. 
also. Succulent repellent. There is a, a drow the dominant men. Ernest Baldwin. Uncle G, I work for a startup and my boss is a multimillionaire, but they never wear a suit. They start up or work on as one of the many sources of income they never put on a suit. This is the new economy, man. What's going on, Blonde and Buddha? Ricardo, Uncle G used to write there, owner got killed here in the Bronx because the guy did not want to sell her a loose cigarette. So she got her boyfriend and he shot the guy. Hood culture. Been the bartender. Folks don't know what real wealth looks like because they've never been there. Absolutely. One of the things that happens and one of the things that you've got to understand is essentially the new economy doesn't require you to wear a suit. See, once again, <clears throat> you know, going back to the title, I don't have to go to business meetings. I don't have to hop on planes. I don't have to do that type of business model. That's a valid business model. This is something that people do. This is something that people make millions of dollars doing, having business meetings um, meeting folks, politicking, going out with folks. But I chose not to do that because, you know, uh, I've done a few public speaking events and they went well, but it's something I don't want to do. I don't want to be living on planes. <clears throat> I don't want to be traveling every week. This That's not the lifestyle I want. <clears throat> and I'm not going to say there's anything wrong with it. It's not what I want. And I'm going to bring back this course, the uh, living a life of intent and design, choosing the life that you live versus living life as life comes to you. This was all a plan. Lynchpin, instead of them getting in the game, they rather hate. I mean, this, this dude was dripping jealousy and feminine energy. Because, see, the first thing is, is the name calling. Because, once again, let's just go ahead and talk about it. I've started several businesses. I know how to start a business. I know how to put together LLC structure. I know how to do this because I have experience doing this. You can go online right now and look up my LLC papers. You can see this if you do facts. And, once again, go to Glenn and Cameron. And you know, go to Google, put in Glennon Cameron dot Amazon, and you will see the products that I was selling. I made my first million. You'll see that. But these ignorant feminine men are like women because they want to see shiny objects. Well, show me a million dollar check. Clearly, he missed the check that I had posted on social media of me lending money to my real estate company. He, he clearly missed this. And once again, I know I put out a lot of content. I put out a lot of videos. But before you come to my channel talking smack, you should do some research because I'm going to smack you down. Visual for six. That's hilarious. And that's just another jealous ass man. Because the jealousy, as Malik said, People are so jealous because they they lack self-worth. They lack accountability. They lack the ability to get up on their selves. Josh Barr, some of the biggest crooks and scammers wear suits. The name is back. It's something I always wondered about hood culture. If your lifestyle can be packaged and mass produced, is it hood culture or another consumer product? Uh, the name is hood culture is both. 
it is packaged, it is sold, but hood culture is an insidious thing in the black community. To quote from Chris Brown, I don't understand how you can hate from outside the club. You can't even get in. That's funny. That is hilarious. So, you know, it, you know, and I, I, this channel's about business. It's about starting businesses. And this is why I started B-School for Hustlers, which I'm getting ready to crank up again. It's like how to make money online. When you make money online, you don't have to wear a suit. When you make money online, you don't have to have business meetings. When you make money online, you don't have to run traditional business stuff. This is the new economy. You have kids in high school who are millionaires from Instagram. You have kids in high school who are millionaires from YouTube. Um, Alpha M, he's a friend of mine. We were having this conversation years ago. How do you parent a kid that makes $150,000 a year? How do you parent that? How, how do you parent that? Uh, blind and bullet. When I worked in retail, the first thing I noticed was the ones wearing suits were most of the one, uh, time broke by the ones wearing normal clothes for tended to pay cash. All right, Terry Hibbler. Jealousy got a rapper called Pop Smoke killed in home invasion. <laughs> you know, this is why I'm careful. You know, I, I showcase the neighborhood, but I don't let you know exactly where I live. Little talk, you have to learn money and quick to parent that kid. No, I've I've been noticing this that YouTubers who are making six figures who are in high school are moving out of their houses before they graduate from high school. They're getting their first apartment. You, you like my first apartment tour. I moved out, I'm still in high school. It is very hard to parent a kid that's making six figures. God is no Glendon. Please stop classifying these hating ass men as feminine. Femininity is positive. These dudes are just bitches. <laughs> well, once again, um, there's this channel where these two girls are clearly making seven figures a year, but the mom is a YouTuber. So she knows how to navigate this. Nipsey Hussle posted that same question on his right hand to God track. How do you teach him? He makes more than his teachers. It, 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 it's, it's interesting. Blind and booty. If my kid was making six figures online, I would be his or her first student. Hey. Alpha M. You know, because once again, uh, there's a video of him on this channel, but my business model for you ignorant, stupid, dumb, feminine men, I don't have to do that stuff. I haven't worn a suit outside of an event in years. I, I If I were to go to a business meeting, I would go to a business meeting dressed just like this. You know why? Because I can. And this is one of the things that's messing with you because many of you are steeped in the old school economy. Many of you are steeped in things that no longer are relevant. Like I'm getting ready to start my new finance channel and just to talk about this, aka Greg, Greg as hating bitch ass Murray. Well, I'll see you deleted your personal finance channel. No credibility. You know, I'm taking a YouTube course and it let me know that I was doing that channel wrong. So I have to start to I decide to start all over. This is what people who get new information, believe the information and they act on the information they do. It's called tweaks and adjustments. 
the channel didn't have that much content on it was no big loss and i'd rather start off a channel that i know is going to grow properly versus keep working on some that i put together wrong from jump see i could just say like that channel i did it wrong based upon the new knowledge that i have it wasn't going to work so i came up with a better concept i'm going to start working on that today and one of the things that you've got to understand for you feminine jealous ass hating men because it's the men it ain't the women who are coming up here making these statements it's you punk ass unsuccessful unaccomplished broke men you've never done anything in life you can google my name and see my accomplishments accomplishments on the internet you this is fact you could google my name well he wrote books he started this you can see my work you can see my work but you don't have nothing but filthy hating ass bitch ass comments because you ain't done shit in your life and my masculine dominant posture offends your weak ass bitch tendencies and i'm sick of it I'm sick of y'all peeing all up in the comments because for a while this went away, but it's back with a vengeance because I'm calling that like the stuff with the black community. You know, being a black person, I want to see black people be successful. And you're not going to be successful if people keep lying to you, telling you that, well, the reason that you're not successful is racism. That's bullshit. Byron Allen became a multimillionaire before the lawsuit. Racism did not stop him from becoming a multimillionaire. And also, black folks that I'm talking down to start businesses in the new economy. Start businesses in the new economy. What's up, Alexis? Like that kid that made 13 million playing Fortnite. Really set wealth, what's up? Rod for real estate, adapt to die. Pretty much this is where we are. Really set wealth, mindset, work ethic, disproves coincidence. The name is he had no videos. He had nothing. He had no receipts, none. T. Lee Byers, when I actively use information I pay for, I see results. Not only can you, 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 your work be seen, but you actually help and serve people in the process. It's one thing to build wealth. It's something all the other to leave a legacy of change. Yeah, I've helped thousands of people change their lives. And these bitch-ass, jealous, feminine men can't stand it because they don't understand masculinity. I'm going to say this. And red pill men and MGTO men, you're supposed to take a woman out on a date and pay for it because you're the man, you're the leader. When you talking about let's go Dutch, you're not leading. This is why so many of you feminine men cannot turn a woman on and get into her submissive nature because you ain't taking care of nobody because you can't take care of your damn self. You, you're struggling to take care of yourself and it will drive you nuts to think, well, I got to take care of someone else. What? Me take care of someone else? I'm out here struggling. I can't phantom taking a chick and paying a hundred bucks for a dinner date. That's at that that no 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 no. I I can't do that. I can't do that. If you were real men, real leaders on that tip of leadership, paying for a date would not be a problem. Google paying who pays for the first date. That's a big issue. Because a lot of you men are scared. You're scared to be leaders. You're scared to put your essence into the world because you don't personally think you shit. But you come after me with vigor because I'm a mirror. And when you look in this mirror and you see that you ain't shit, you get all up in your feelings. You get all up in your feelings. And you come pissing on this page. Because whenever I see someone leave a comment like that, and 
I can go through my Google account and see what comments you left. And I was like, that's the first comment, but they've been watching this channel. What was it about that video that provoked a comment? Terry Henry, when you run your own business, you make your own runs. Plain, plain and simple. Absolutely. Racism is, although real, it's not an excuse to do nothing. Let's talk about racism because, you know, this is something that a lot of black people love to talk about. Racism real. You know what racism, the average white people can do, do to you? They cannot like you. That's it. I don't want to live next to a black person. That's the only power the average white person has. I can't. I don't want to live next to you. I, I ain't. Racism. It's not the problem. The lack of ambition is the problem. Racism ain't the problem. We need to go ahead and rid ourselves of this notion of, well, racism, the man holding me down. The man ain't holding you down when you got two felonies in a record. The man ain't holding you down. You made bad choices as a young man that now will follow you for the rest of your life. That's the problem. It ain't racism. It's that you and Pookie were robbing this store when you were 16, got caught, and you now you have felony on your record. That, that's the problem. Bad choices. Patrick Hale, it takes, it takes more energy to hate, man. Because when you're working on getting your shit together, your life gets better, your energy improves. MJ Electronics, real men always pay. Dr. SYNQ, racism will not stop a black person from making money if he or she has knowledge and the ability to solve problems. Pretty much. People react emotionally rather than logically. Leah, that I put so much that men should pay and got so much backlash because we have a nation of feminine men. Roger Marine, thanks for the $2 super chat. Blind and Buddha, pretty much. Smokehouse, Chris Rock said it best. There's a difference between black folks and ignorant folks, and ignorant black folks got to go. Roger Marine, thanks for the five dollar super chat. Ben the bartender, if you can produce and you have results, racism won't be a factor. Because see, here's one of the things, and I, I have an old video called "Becoming a Producer Versus a Consumer." And when you become a producer, your whole world changes. I'm a producer. I produce knowledge. I produce products. See, GD, GDP, gross domestic product, is calculated on what is produced. The more you produce, this is how you get wealthy. A lot of people are trying to do rent-seeking methods of getting wealthy. And I'm going to give you the appropriate definition of rent-seeking. Rent seeking is attempting is an attempt to obtain economic rent. The portion of the income paid for a factor of production and excess is what needed to keep it employed in its current use. By manipulating the social political environment which economic activities occur, rather than creating new wealth, everybody's trying to rent seek. Everyone is trying to rent seek. They're trying to get wealthy without creating new products without contributing to the economy. This just like secure the bag without doing anything. Dr. NSYNQ, thank you for the $20 super chat. I appreciate that. More power to you too, man. Because one of the things is, because I've been getting these comments, show me your role, show me your Lambo, show me you in the suit, show me in business meetings. That's not my business. I wrote a book and made a million dollars. A book! Using the leverage and the power of the new economy and the internet. 
I did not have one business meeting. I had publishers approach me with some pathetically, I mean, they're like the first offer was a five dollar, five thousand dollar advance. The second offer was a ten thousand dollar advance, and I was making more money on my own, so it didn't make any sense. And also, for those of you who ever want to write a book and sell it to a publisher, it's going to take them a year to almost two years to take your book, edit it, create a cover, and put it in the stores. So I would have lost. 16 months of income and missed a crucial part of the storage auction phase if I had taken those deals. Christopher, if a woman pays, she's essentially making the rules of your date. She could punk you and tell you to get the chicken instead of the steak. <laughs> Roger Marine, absolutely. He'll just have the salad. No wine for him. That's funny. Yeah, because see, a lot of people want to rent seek their way to money. They don't want to do anything. And I've talked about service, serving your fellow man, creating products, being helpful. The more people, and this is what I got from Earl Nightingale, Lead the Field. The greater your service, the greater your income. And I found it to be true. The more people that I help, the more money that I make. But so many folks are trying to secure the bag without doing anything. Or these platitudes, I'm going to be a billionaire. I'm going to be a millionaire. How? What are you going to produce? Who are you going to serve? What are you going to put together? We get out there, Hollywood. Terry Henry, I'm getting ready to get cracking on that. Only haters are the ones who aren't doing anything and the ones who don't want to see people of color succeed. The name is sometimes people complain about racism, how they can't get ahead. Because of white supremacy, but these would be the first to fund their oppressors businesses while tearing those in their race. Pretty much. I have a lot of black men come after me. I have a lot of black feminine men come after me because they can't stand that I was a curious intellectual. You know how I got all this knowledge? I was a curious intellectual. I was, I call myself a social science. I was like, well, let me do this here and see what kind of result I'll get. Let me do this thing over here and see what kind of result I get. Let me test this concept out and see how it works out. I got the experience from being intellectually curious, not sitting on my ass, hoping to become wealthy. I was like, all right, you know, with the Craigslist marketing program. I worked on that for about three months. And once I figured it out, I started making a gang of money on Craigslist. The reason that I am a know-it-all is because I've tried to do multiple things. And once again, for all these folks who are like, well, you sound like you know it all. Uh, some wild-ass bitch, I wonder what it's like to have a baby since he knows it all. It's my vast knowledge base, my vast level of experience it offends the weak and scared because as a man, it is your birthright to be a leader. As a man, it is your birthright to take care of people. Once again, this will offend the MGTOW and red pill sensibilities because they're out for self. And, you know, there's this meme of cat women sitting on floor or couches well, we're going to have a bunch of cat and dog men because they don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to build relationships. They don't know how to keep relationships going. I've got relationships that are 20 plus years old. I've been able to maintain relationships. I've got a few that are 30 something years old. And these new feminine men don't know how to lead don't know how to maintain relationships, don't know how to build, but they're sitting around wanting good knowledge that they don't know how to apply.
oldest Harris. I'm 37 with a sociology degree and in a dead job. What career could I start at this age and make money? What do you think about learning the code? Oldest Harris, what you should do every night is come home. It should become an obsession. It should become, you should become obsessed with changing your life. You should be Googling and trying all kinds of stuff and, and running experiments because I don't know you, Otis. I don't know what you should be doing. I don't know your strengths. I don't know your weaknesses. I don't know you, but you do. And you need to go to Google and like, well, and just put in strange curious. Like what would it like be like to have this kind of career? Neck of the woods, you're preaching to the choir. You don't have to worry about that with me. I'm a black man. I don't have the victim mentality. Well, there's a lot of good people that come to this channel. There's a lot of good people who sit down and drink up the knowledge and, uh, and more importantly, apply the knowledge. Because see, this is one of the things that happened with me. When I was running uh, my social experiments, my business experiences, I took the data that I got and I applied it to my life and I applied it to my business. This is why I can speak on so many topics because I actually did these things. Once again, you'll never hear me like, you know, I've had people like, what about affiliate marketing? What about a social media manager? I don't do those things and I don't speak on those things. I don't speak on stuff I don't know. Kevin Davis, anyone's trying to become an entrepreneur should know how many hats you need to wear as a business owner. So no shit. He knows much more. I know more than you. And this, this is when I say that I know more than you do. People get offended. Well, well, Glendon, uh, we're all equal. No, we're not. That's why there are some people who are billionaires. That's why some people who are millionaires, because we ain't all equal. It, we ain't all equal. We're, we're not equal. Let that felonious notion go. We're not equal. There are some people who are better than you. In the 60s and the 70s, and this was something that people learned in school. There was first place ribbons. There was second place ribbons. There was third place ribbons. And there was fourth place ribbon. When I was in elementary school, we used to have this track and field day. And they wore the award of ribbons. And you knew if you didn't get a ribbon, you didn't place in the top four. You weren't good enough. Facts. You had to deal with it's like, okay, well, maybe I need to go train and run and become better. And honey bunny, now these men don't even want to work. They even can't. Yeah, there, there, there's something going on with a large segment of men who don't want to work, who don't want to produce who don't want to reproduce, who they just are self-indulgent looking at the lint in their navels. Roger Marine Goldis Harris, I just completed my BS in cybersecurity. There's a million jobs, no unemployment. All right, Eric Youngblood, congratulations. What about Groupon? We're equal in the law, but not in life, pretty much. Oh, honey bunny, there's a saying my granny used to say when it was young, favor ain't fair. Man, everybody isn't going to get everything. Steve Jameson, there's going to be a lot of stay-at-home dads getting the lounge from their woman. That's already happening. And Alexis, we have to define ourselves for ourselves. These bitches that had me thinking I was a pick-me because I bought dinner for my man that I've been with forever. I caught my head. Good Lord. Like, once again, and this is going on in the female space. Like, if you are a easy, reasonable woman to get along, you're called a pick-me. They're saying that you should be ambitious, hard to deal with, argumentative to define yourself as a woman, which is stupid. This is how it goes. When a masculine dominant man shows up, a woman's submissive nature automatically comes out. And if you're not experiencing that, you're not a leader, 
You're not a dominant man. You're not a masculine man. And a lot of men are not experiencing that because they're feminine men. He, she that works the most wins. All right, Alicia Harris, keep making that money. Steve Jamerson, driving their woman's car with the sorority tag on it. That used to upset me. I was like, why are you driving her car with that AKA tag on it? That used to, I would never do that. I would never drive a woman's car with a sorority tag on it. Wouldn't do it. The, the, the Steve Jamerson, that, that is just the epitome of bitch assness. That's just the epitome of it. Blinding Buddha, what are men not doing or building? It's crazy what's going on. Blinding Buddha, this is what's going on. Every time someone attacks me, I go to the YouTube channel, and this is what I see. World star of substance, I see nothing. And this tells me about the mentality of the person who's peeing all over the wall. They're, they're an emotional child. Terry Henney, like, like it's been said before, there's levels to this shit, but a lot of people want the benefits and rewards you have without putting in the work. A lot of people just don't want to work. Tim A, it's a great feeling. MJ once lost a teammate at ping pong. He spent six months training so he can win. Being a dominant man means loving competition. And with another man is better than you, learning and improving upon yourself. That's a beautiful story. A pick me is something that is defined in the female space as an agreeable female. An agreeable, submissive female. There are many women out here that feel that they shouldn't be agreeable or submissive to their man, that they should stand up and roar and be a woman. And I, I don't mess with those type of women because they're argumentative, they're feminist, and they really bring nothing to the table for me. A lot of them are afraid of being accountable because, you know, this, this whole notion of coming after me because this is something I've heard at least six times this week. You appear to know it all. Yeah, I know more than you do, motherfucker. I know more than you do because I've done more shit in life than you have. That's why I know more because I've done more. But you sitting on your ass hoping to get rich, wishing to get rich, praying to get rich, praying you're going to win the lottery. I know more than you because I've done more than you. I ran a business where I worked six to seven days a week, 12 hour days for years. I did that. And that's in my DNA. And that was gives me confidence because I know I can put in the work and I know I can get results versus sitting at home being a bitch ass man that has accomplished nothing that is having sex with a land whale because that's the best woman you can get because you're pretty much worthless as a man. Uh, no, pick me as someone going over the top of the internet for likes, but not like that in real life. Pick me's are hypocrites. That's why folks don't like it. Well, I was watching, um, What's her name? She, they were they were talking about pick me's were agreeable women, women that submitted to their men, m women that were just so desperate for male attention. Just pick me, pick me. New Jersey, I agree that blacks need to come together. It's like what you said. It's harder for people to, to be a racist vocation with your race or if it's influenced. But I wouldn't want to be us to be. Asians are not submissive. They're not submissive. Average family, white to make ma millions. Racist statements. <laughs> What's up, Erica? I mean, once again, a lot of these dudes, because once again, like I, I talked about this on Disruptive Mail Channel, that 
years ago, I put up three women profiles, a hot chick, an average looking chick and a fat chick. The hot chick got 600 responses within 24 hours. The average chick got 200 responses within 24 hours and the fat chick got 50 responses. There's a lot. This is why these fat chicks are walking around like their shit don't stink because there's dudes who are throwing dick at them like crazy. Don't want to be seen in public with them, but it's it's one o'clock in the morning. Can I slide on through? Can I slide through so I can slide in and leave before the sun comes up? They're doing this. They're doing this. Eric Youngblood, I hate to say it, but most of those men are mama boys. You never get from under their mama skirt. Man, one of the, the craziest things that I, I see, because when I get attacked, I, I do research. And whenever I go to these guys' channels, they're not watching anything of substance. They're not trying to build business. They're not trying to learn coding. They're watching stupid shit, really. And then I like to funk there. If there was a blueprint to earn six figures a year, step by step, people still wouldn't do it because cats are lazy. 89 Dr. Funk, you just describe how to start a service business. Once again, if you don't know what type of business you want to start, start a cleaning service, start a car wash, start credit repair, start serving people, start getting money and escape your nine to five. But as you just said, people are lazy. Where are these men at? They're everywhere, Erica. These feminine men are everywhere. And when a feminine man meets a woman such as yourself, they really lose it. Because in their mind, you're occupying their position, but they don't have the intestinal fortitude or the courage to go after life. They don't have the ability to kill dragons. They don't have the ability to do hard things. Tim May, they can never be day walkers. All right, name and frame. Awesome. Alexis, you, you choose to use your power wisely. Dang, Leah. The land whales would do anything for a feminine man. A lot of these feminine men are fucking fat chicks. Facts. 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 Yeah. Uh, Susan Rice came after Snoop and made him apologize to Gail King, who asked a fucked up question about Kobe. Otis Harris, how much capital do you need to start a business? Zero. You can start a service business today. When I was doing my course, 30 days to 2,500, what I would do is I would do the training on YouTube for free. And if you showed up, you got the training. If you wanted to record it less than you had to pay for it. And there was this guy by the name of Cleaver. He had no money. He had no car. He was living with somebody. And he's like, what can I do? I said, start a service business. What do you know how to do? He knew how to fix computers. He got on the bike, went in town, made 700 bucks his first day. Zero capital. See, once you become solution oriented, <clears throat> instead of like obsessed with the problem, like many black people are obsessed with racism, they're not solution oriented. Once you become solution oriented, everything changes. I see a lot of YouTube videos about feminine men and women's disgust for women absolutely hate feminine men. Alexis, like, hey, hey, daddy. Be real, good Lord. Well, New Jersey, one of the things is all Asians are not submissive. And if you look at the situation in China where men are doing all types of monkey gyrations to get with women is because china had this birth policy 
where there are more men than women because they were aborting girl babies. So that is more of a cultural, social result of a failed policy because there are way more Chinese men than there are Chinese women. And, you know, women are like, you have no apartment, you have no car, you have no job, you have no pussy. Not for me. Because women really can dictate. They can dictate. And that's for Chinese. Japanese, J Japan ain't like that. Thailand ain't like that. Vietnam ain't like that. Korea ain't like that. So, you know, the Asian, you know, Chinese men may act submissive because they're desperate. This is why these Chinese men are going to Africa, marrying these African chicks and having babies with them because they can't get a, a, an Asian woman. Pretty much Alicia Harris. Terry Henry in 1999 left my nine to five and started electrical service business. I have not looked back since. That's hey, that's a good feel. Asian men can be mean. I have friends, five married to Asian men, thanks to the military. And the husband always says their dads are mean. Asians be like, no, no, no. You dis, you dis, you, 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 you dishonor the family. You out the family. It's over for you. It is over for you. Uh, South Korea had the same policy for a while. Hence, while South Korean men and Marriott, they have no choice, man. Man, my mods, thank you. Y'all are on it today because these bitch ass men, these feminine men are all up in their emotions because I'm a masculine, dominant, successful man talking knowledge. And they, they just like <laughs> their heads are exploding. Because they're little bitches. You little bitch. 89 Dr. Funk, you can start a business with zero money. Put up a Craigslist ad, Lego next door, app for crafts. Yeah. You can start a service business for zero dollars. Pick me women or the red pill dream girl. Honey bunny, big D energy. The other day, you know, I, I had someone up there. Another feminine man, it was like, well, you know, you're just playing on these guys' insecurity because I have a course how to get a bigger penis. And it ain't easy, but it's doable. You can make your penis bigger. And a lot of folks are like, what? But see, when you become solution-oriented, and it's like, how do I solve this problem? And you become obsessed with this solving this problem. This is how you become successful. But, you, but when you become obsessed with the problem, like many black folks in racism, they're obsessed with racism, but they don't think nothing about solving the problem. They don't think about nothing, how to change things or nothing. Good Lord. I mean, once again, I don't have to go to business meetings. I don't have to wear a suit. I don't have to be white to make millions in this new economy. I, I, you know, these are facts. I'm getting ready to start some new channels. Uh, I can tell you the name of the new finance channel is going to be called Savage Finance. Because one of the things that went wrong with the first channel is I didn't have a good concept. I didn't really think it out. And how you, you know, you conceive something and you think about the videos and the way you're going to release them and how you're going to promote them has a big part of the success of your YouTube channel. So it was just better to start over than to try to repair the damage. And that's what I'm done. Hey, Malik, once again, I will be putting that together. No, those feminine men are, aren't just sleeping with fat chicks. They're pretty insecure chicks, and and, and the busy women that use them as jump offs. But these guys have to leave before sunrise. Your favorite uncle conflict arises when two different cultures meet, which invariably leads to war. 
This means racial diversity will lead to violence. People learn the basic biological evolutionary fact of a struggle. Well, this is what I'm dealing with right now. These dudes are violently. I mean, let me read the comment to you again. You're making these videos too personal, giving up the information to stop worrying about race. First of all, you don't come to somebody's house and tell them how to run their house. So that's the first issue. Teach them the skills you feel of important. You come off like you know it all. Up, up, up. Jealous, jealous, jealous. I know more than you, Big Daddy Ozone. But you're not really talking about finance. Actually, I'm talking about ways that you do the research and looking at culture and understanding culture is how you make money. You're talking about the people, the state that people are in. That's where the money is. When I look at the room you're in, I see nothing that says success. Hate, hate, hate. But you're talking down to black people like you have money like the Rockefellers. I have more money than the average black person. Th these be facts. Facts. I got more money than the average black person. Now, here this is where he gets aggressive. Get the fuck off your high horse with your loose ass wearing sweatshirt and black eyes. Personal attacks because he's a little jelly. Show me a Rolls Royce. This is feminine. Show me something shiny. Show me a million dollar check. Wear a suit and look like you know what you're talking about because you're full of shit. Now, I on this channel have all types of receipts. You could Google me and find out all types of stuff about me. But do these people do the research? No. They see that I'm a masculine dominant man that's living life on his own terms and the hate begins. Cuz they can't they don't have it like that. My homegirls say ain't no D like homeless D. Good D that needs a place that they will ruin a chick's life. Be putting in work. Hey, baby, I'm homeless. I like sleeping in the bed. Take it, baby. Take it. Take it. Take it. Otis Harris, this is the thing, and I'm going to put together this course. You got to do, you got to run little experiments to see what you like. And this is why so many people have problems with the dream girl profile because they don't have enough experience in dating women to know what they like. Marvin Smart, I now make more money in jogging pants than most of the guys I know who wear suits. Pretty much the new economy. The new economy. You can dress like this. I ain't even shaved today. Now, with this regard i'm going to dress differently for the savage finance channel i got a whole different persona i got a whole different way that i'm coming at it. so this will be different and i will not be using this room which is off the bedroom for the savage finance channel i got a studio set up and i'm going to do it a totally different way they are becoming more no because they don't know any rich people You know, once again, one of the biggest things is I don't have to wear a suit to make money. I don't have to hop on the plane to make money. I don't have to be white to make money. Due to the power of the Internet. Due to the power of the Internet, the new economy. I don't have to do old school things to make money in this new economy. And anytime someone comes after me, with, well, show me a roll drawer, show me a million dollar check. This is how you get suckered. Once again, when I started this channel, I said, I, I've been on this for years. It's going to take you two, three years for your business to really grow and start throwing off money. And a lot of people did not want to hear that message. A lot of people tuned out that message, but this facts and for those of you who have listened, who've been on your two, three, four, five year journeys and now are starting to see results, now starting to make that money. Congratulations.
because I spoke the truth, I live in the truth, and I talk the truth. And these feminine men, y'all are just punks. And this is one of the reasons I'm about this pew pew life. I have three guns. I'm about to get some more because feminine men are so emotional that they will do something to a masculine man because they're emotional. Marvin's Mark of the Mads. Most people have no idea how to leverage the massive power of the internet. It takes time, but it's so doable. Pretty much. I mean, you know, my third year is when I made the million dollars selling my book. Three years. My first year, I made 62000 My second year, I made 92000 My third year, I made $1.5 million. It takes time. You, it takes time. And one of the things is with the feminine men who are looking for easy, quick, fast solutions. And one of the things that happens with feminine men is the. Because, see, I'm getting ready to do a whole bunch of masculinity training on disruptive male. Uh, that's, I'm working on that today, too, because so many men are so emotional. Like that dude who came after me. He was an emotional little bitch. I know more than you do. This is something you can research. I've written books. I have a successful YouTube channel. Well, actually successful YouTube channels. I know more than you do. And that offends you because you want to say, well, he's a black man. I'm a black man. We're both the same. We're equal. No, motherfucker, we ain't equal. My results dictate that we're not equal. My life dictates that we're not equal. We're, the way that I live, what I drive dictates that I'm not equal to you. And you need to get over your little hurt, little feelings. You need to get over being a little boy sucking on your mama's titty. You need to get over that and start rolling in your masculinity. You need to stop punking out and going Dutch on dates. You need to become a leader. You need to become a man. You need to start wooing and seducing these women versus expecting that they're going to chase you because you feel that you're the bitch in the relationship. This is one of the biggest problems we have from a social standpoint is the number of feminine bitch ass men. Oh, man, I'm, a, I'm about that pew pew life because these emotional bitches like a feminine man years ago. And you could Google this. This woman owned a, a salon. She was making six figures. She bought her son everything. This emotional man, because he wanted more money, killed his mother to get the insurance money so he could flex on the Internet and be walking around with bands. He killed his mother. He killed his mother, the woman who gave him anything he wanted because he wanted more faster because he was an emotional feminine man. Tyron Youngblood, my blueprint is you need to start a business. I don't know what I don't listen to Boyce Watkins. So I don't know what he talks about. Thomas Dickinson, I'm in the third year of my practice. And it's now like finally starting to ramp up. It, it takes time, man. It takes time. 89 Dr. Funk, you never know. Uh, every now and then I get someone in public like, oh man, you're the YouTube dude. And most of the time it's nothing but love, but you never know. Because when someone gets aggressive, let me read this last statement. Get the fuck off your high host with your loose ass sweatshirt and black eyes. Show me a Rolls Royce. Show me a million dollar check. Wear a suit and look like you know what the fuck you're talking about because you're full of shit. When someone gets that aggressive, you don't know what they would do in real life. These emotional men are emotionally unregulated. They will come after you. 
they will do all kinds of crazy stuff because they're bitches. They have high estrogen levels, and this is fact. The T levels of men today compared to men of 30 years ago are several points lower because they're feminine from an emotional standpoint and they're becoming feminine from a hormonal standpoint because they don't want to do anything. They don't want to work. They don't want to kill dragons. They don't want to take women out. They don't want to be leaders. They don't want to have families. They just want to exist and jack off and play video games. This is what's going on with them. Grant Barnes, this is why people of different classes don't hang out. The thinking is different. It's a lost cost in most cases. Absolutely. It, it hurt their little feelings, man. It hurt their little feelings because they're bitches. New Jersey, hip-hop cultures gets us thinking we're the most powerful race. Blacks think hood dudes are alphas, and half of whites think Trump is alpha. Trump is an extremely petty and feminine man. He's extremely feminine. The tiny hands crew. The tiny hands crew. You got the little man hands, and he got the little man attitude. Because whenever someone says something about him, he goes after them vigorously. Vigorously, like a bitch. BK Pro, yeah, I mean, it's just sad. Uh, she was a single mom. Jukebox hero, ain't that the truth? He was just recently sentenced because this happened a few years ago. Yep, from Chicago and knew the guy. He was very feminine and emotional. He favored a girl. She was he was five three with long hair. Oh, I didn't know he was only five three. Man, that adds to it. Jukebox Hero, uh, I would disagree. Talk to Jeff Bezos, who got mocked and clowned because Amazon.com wasn't making money for eight years. It wasn't instant gratification that got Amazon.com to where it is today. It wasn't, man. And you can't get no more tech than Amazon.com. Pumping numbers, men are taking emotional cues from the women who raised them. The larger part that would come from their fathers is dead, pretty much. Pretty much. Your favorite uncle, psychologically speaking, people become nationalists when their own survival is under threat. This turn makes them resort back to their racial or ethnic tribe for security. Well, one of the things is if you're an American citizen and if you deploy the laws of attributes of success, you don't have to be fearing about your life or anything. Polly Robinson, Trump's father was a motherfucker, but Trump didn't get that. You know, Trump was such a bitch that he tried to, when his father got sick, he tried to invalidate his will so he can get the money quicker. Trump's father left this fool 420 million. If it wasn't for Fred Trump, um, Donald would have went down long before then. Honey Bunny, I know, I know. Roger Marine, I had two friends who got murdered because of jealousy. Be careful whom you trust and call your friends. Absolutely, man. He was sentenced to 100 years. Man, he should have got death row. So once again, you know, one of the things that you guys have got to understand 
in this new economy, you don't have to do old business type things to make money. And these guys who are coming after me are unschooled. They ignorant as hell. And they're feminine as fuck because they should be like, well, well, Glendon has created this business. He makes all this money. How can I do it? No, 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 no. The little bitch in them will not allow that level of respect because they're bitch ass punks. Oh, okay. Jukebox hero. I get you. I get you. I get you. So that's all I have for you guys today. We're going to get back into the training. I'm going to work on the course of how to create a life of design and intent because this is something that's missing and people don't understand this. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next live stream.